Hi everyone, I'm Rinsey and this is Rinsey Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a fall book haul for you guys. There are a couple of books I got for review from publishers, which I will be showing off in the beginning. And then basically the rest of the books are books I got while in New York for Book Riot Live. There are a lot of them. <laughs> so the first book is Dreams of Shreds and Tatters by Amanda Downham. This is from Solaris Books. This is one of the books I got for review. This is supposed to be a fantasy book, I believe or fantasy-ish or magical realism-ish. In this story you are following this girl named Liz and she is on the search for her best friend named Blake who has gone missing and eventually she finds him in a hospital in Vancouver completely comatose. He seems to be the victim of an accident that claimed Blake's lover's life and it seems like he is stuck in the dreams of his dead lover or something along those lines and Liz is forced to enter this sort of nightmare world in order to save him and to save the world around her because the creatures from that nightmare land seems to be coming out into the real world or something along those lines. It just sounds really interesting and the book cover is just really really cool looking. Next up I got two books from Candlewick Press. The first one is Burn Baby Burn by Meg Medina. You guys may remember that I read Yaki Delgado Wants to Kick Your Ass in January I believe of this year and I really like that book and so this one follows a girl named Nora in the 1970s in New York City during the craziness that was the son of Sam serial killer. But on top of that Nora has her own personal problems that she has to deal with. Her brother seems to be getting more and more angry and violent as the days go on. Their mother is having a very difficult time just like keeping up with rent. Their father is not really around. So I think it's just following this young girl as she's growing up during this really tumultuous time both in the bigger scope of the world as well as just in her own individual world. And then the final one from Candlewick Press is A Tyranny of Petticoats, 15 Stories of Bells, Bank Robbers, and Other Badass Girls edited by Jessica Sportswood. This is a collection of stories by a bunch of different young adult authors some of them include Y.S. Lee, Marie Lu, Marissa Meyer, Beth Revis. This one comes out in March 2016 as well and it's an anthology featuring stories about lots of different heroines in situations that you don't necessarily see. Females in, you know, bells, bank robbers, and badasses. So yeah, I'm super excited to just sort of dip in and out of this one. And then finally, these are all the books that I got from New York City. My rule was that I wasn't allowed to buy more than one book from a single bookstore. And I definitely stuck to that rule, but I went to lots of bookstores. <laughs> Book Riot Live was absolutely amazing, and I'm super excited that I got to attend the event, and I got to meet some of you guys while you were there. And rumor has it that it will be happening again next year in November in New York City, so if it sounds like something that you would want to attend, maybe mark your calendar or start saving up for it. But anyways, on to the books. So the first bookstore I ended up going to was Book Court in Brooklyn, and I picked up Stone Mattress by Margaret Atwood. This is her collection of short stories that came out in 2014. I wanted to pick this up because Margaret Atwood was at the event, and I wanted her to sign it. And this is a collection that I've been wanting to pick up for a while, especially since I saw the redesign for the paperback edition. This is so much better looking. And then the next bookstore we went to was also in Brooklyn and that was Greenlight Bookstore, which was great. And I ended up picking up A Brief History of Seven Killings by Marlon James. Most of you guys probably know by now this won the Man Booker Prize this year. Watching everyone talk about this book leading up to the Man Booker Prize, I was like, okay, I have to get this book. And I didn't want to get it from the library because the library was going to have the very heavy hardcover edition and also I knew this was a book that I wanted to take my time with because it is long but it's also supposed to be a dense story so I didn't want to feel like I was rushing it so I decided to just pick up my own copy to read it and I'm very excited for this one as well. The next bookstore I went to was The Strand and I was actually there as part of the Book Riot cocktail hour that they were doing. One of the little side events that they had was a cocktail hour on Friday night and one on Saturday night and I went to the Saturday night one and one of the really nice things about the cocktail hour is that they gave out a $15 gift card to The Strand to everyone who attended the event who, which was a amazing. The first thing that I got was a book. It was Me, My Hair and I, 27 Women, Untangle and Obsession, edited by Elizabeth Benedict. This is a bunch of different female authors writing about hair and their relationship with their hair and their own like personal issues dealing with their hair and their identity wrapped around hair, all of those different things. This is one of those collections that I had heard about before it was even published and then I knew I wanted to pick it up right away and I had just been waiting or I was actually waiting for a library copy to come in and then I saw it there and it was only eight dollars for you know a brand new book so I was very excited about that and so I decided to just pick it up at the strand. Also this edition is just amazing. This is just such a great cover. I love these sort of graphic 
covers. And then the other thing I got at the Strand was this little bag, this mini bag. This is what the Strand side looks like, but the reason why I wanted it was because of this side, and it says, a well-read woman is a dangerous creature. They have this quote on like tote bags and mugs and t-shirts, and this was the version I decided to get it in. And both of these were just completely free to me, or I might have paid like a dollar or two. And then next to the Strand is this really great comic book store called Forbidden Planet. I had never been to Forbidden Planet before. I always just like walked by it. I knew it was there, but I just never went inside before. And so I decided to stop in really quick since I was at the Strand anyways. And I picked up Ms. Marvel Volume 3. I've already read all the issues that are in this bind up, but I didn't have the bind up itself. But this also comes with Shield Number 2 that features Ms. Marvel, which I haven't read yet so I'm very excited to read that. The next book that I got was The Turner House by Angela Flournoy. This was quite the adventure trying to get this book. Angela Flournoy was at Book Riot Live and so I was planning on picking this up from the bookstore that was at Book Riot Live but they had sold out of these. I ended up like walking to Barnes & Noble. I ended up walking like two miles to Barnes & Noble just to get a copy of this just so I could have her sign it. Right there. I'm super excited to pick this one up. This is a book that I've been wanting to pick up basically since it came out because I've heard really great things about it and I've heard that it's a pretty quick read so hopefully I will get to this relatively soon. This one is sort of like at the top of the pile of all of these books. This is the one I think I'm the most excited to read. In case you guys aren't aware this book follows I believe a family in Detroit. I believe their parents pass away and they the kids all have to come back home and figure out what they're going to do with the family house and things like that. And then the final place that I went was to McNally Jackson Books. I actually went there with Nicola from Robotnik. She was actually attending Book Riot Live so I got to see her a little bit throughout the weekend. And then we met up there with Nena from SCS Reads. I believe that's her YouTube channel name. I'll have links to both of their channels down in the description. But yeah, she lives pretty close by to that area and so we m went there and met up and I ended up getting Honor by Elif Shafak. I read The Architect's Apprentice earlier this year. I believe I did a review of it. I will link to it if I did. And I really enjoyed it and I've been wanting to pick up more of her work and everyone left comments saying I need to pick up more of her books. And the book that everyone recommended I believe was The Bastard of Istanbul but they didn't have a copy of that in stock. So I just got this one instead and I believe it follows immigrants from Turkey. Um, they immigrate to London in the 1970s and I believe it follows their life in London and I love a good immigrant story so I'm super excited to read this one. And the final book that I have gotten recently is one that I bought when I was at home and that is Winter by Marissa Meyer. I actually took the dust jacket off already because I've started reading it. This is the final book in the Lunar Chronicle series. I've done reviews of all of the other books in this series and I'm super excited to see how it ends. I'm already like 100 pages in. It's a pretty quick read because it's a young adult book and you know there's lots happening in the story. So yeah that is my book haul for this fall. Um, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know if you have read any of these books, what you guys thought of them, um, or if you're planning on reading any of these books as well. So yeah that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.